it's Jackie and welcome back to my weekly vlogs. In my last video, I ended it off saying my life has gone up in flames and that is still the case, but some of what's happened has made me make decisions that should hopefully set me up better for the future and I'm being very vague about it because I don't want to burn any bridges professionally but um, I am in a really bad position so I can't really go into detail there but know that things are working themselves out and the things that I can't control hopefully turn out okay <laughs> but anyways um, as you can see I'm in the car and Tyler just was being spontaneous and he's like Let's go on a little road trip. So we're in Georgia right now. I have no clue where we are, but it's a cute little beach town. Where are we, Tyler? Do you not know? <laughs> this is St. Mary's, which is a small town in Georgia, and it's the only access point to Cumberland Island, which apparently has wild horses roaming about. So we didn't do that, but we'll have to go soon. Literally all I know about this place. I could zoom out more. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Caribbean? Yeah, Outlander vibes. We're in this antique store. So cute. Oh, I love her. The sun's going down and we went into this really cute antique shop and picked up some stuff. There was like a bunch of fairy things, which I love. So I got a little fairy pendant. Tyler got a map. And oh, the sunset's so pretty. I really want something like some sort of pasta. Ooh, I got this dress because it reminded me of Aria and PLL, like brutal 2010 fashion, but love it. Then we went to Riverside Cafe, and there's only a couple little restaurants on this strip. Got some delicious food and a little bit of wine. I'm just setting up for my last time travel tutorials show. I did a weekly live stream on Triller every week. I think it's been 12 months that I've been doing it. If you've missed the episodes, well, you'll get a little taste of it here. You can't go back and watch them, unfortunately, so you had to just be there, but basically I would film a different um, look every week live, and a lot of the time it was very vintage inspired, but for my last one, since I'm already filming a Emily in Paris look, I'm gonna do the Emily in Paris makeup and then gonna film the hair for my main channel. I hope you guys enjoy witnessing some of the um, live. Yeah, I was getting nervous beforehand, so I'm a little weird right now, but let's get into it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my final time travel tutorials live stream. I have socks stuffed into a bra right now to try to get the, the boobs that Emily has. Is my go-to palette. I use it all the time. It's kind of a boring palette from ColourPop because it's literally just some taupe shades, but I do a lot of mixing within this palette and I use it for contouring. I'll use this one for the nose contour I've already done. And I'm gonna add this also through the crease. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They just look good on everybody. Okay, looks a little crazy. Go in with a matte lipstick and I'm gonna use one of them from the Emily Paris collection. Just finished my last Triller Live. Here's the makeup after I did a couple touch-ups. And now on to the hair. We are in the kitchen. I've taken off my bow. It was actually just this um, robe from Victoria's Secret. I honestly could make a little, what's it called, apron. And I got a comment on my last video that said, you should try the Gigi Hadid spicy vodka pasta. So we got all the ingredients and that is what we are making tonight. It's 7.40, I am so hungry. I was just talking to my friend Michaela on FaceTime 
And uh, Tyler's off camera. He has a band-aid on his face, so he's not camera ready today, but he's gonna be telling you what to do. I got a nose job. No, he didn't get a nose job. <laughs> Let's get started. Stop it. Sorry. Let's get started with this recipe. How come you bought all the mini versions of these? I have, because I've never bought tomato paste in my life. Uh-huh. We have the little bit of vodka. We're not big drinkers, but we're gonna add it in the sauce. Step one is boiling a pot of water. Like last time, we have another dangerous step where we don't have a can opener. I don't know, we must have lost our can opener, so Tyler's gonna use a knife. We're gonna, should we do that off camera? Yeah, we're gonna do that off camera. We're gonna do that off camera. <laughs> yeah, because my mom was upset last time. <laughs> oh, Rick, do it. Oh! Put some salt in the pot. This reminds me of when we did the mermaid shoot. Throwback. Salt in. Still not bubbling. That's fine, try it on higher. It is on the highest. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit. Oh. In the skillet, the thing in the lot, put olive oil. Olive oil, how much? Um, Splash? Like two tablespoons. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Sure. <laughs> on me. Heat it on medium. Uh, oh my god, what was that? Two steps. Someone set your house on fire. <laughs> now you cute as hell, girl. Maybe close our close the cabinet. Take the stuff out of there. Be proactive. Okay. Look at me. Look at me. So when it's once it's hot and sizzling, would you say it's hot and sizzling? I see some bubbles. Okay. You're gonna put in the diced onion and the minced garlic. Shout out to my Aunt Shirley for ah. this. For Can you the... open that? I'll do this part. Peel off the, the first few layers. We call that the membrane. With my hands, is this what people do? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So we minced the garlic and onions together. All right, a fourth of a cup. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, do we have measuring cups? No. Hey Siri. We might. Remind me to get measuring cups. We might have some. Like that might, I'm sure my mom got me some when I moved and I just never used them. Tomato paste, we're gonna do, we didn't have a freaking can opener, and we don't have measuring cups, so. <laughs> what? That's not gonna work. So it's gonna be tomato-y. Okay, I like tomato. Okay, good. I like tomato too. My last name is actually, means tomato farmer. Really? Yeah. Another reason I'm not gonna change my last name. Oh my gosh! Turn off, turn off, turn off. The answer is eight blue ounces. So you have two cups, so half of this. Half of this. Okay. Yeah. Half, half of, of this. Oh, that's a lot. Are we gonna need to put it over the heat again? Okay, so how much of this, the whole thing? No. Good. Okay. Perfect. Oh, half a cup of farmers on cheese. Is that good? Or more? A little more. Tell me when. When? That's my, that's my jacket I wore in the Epi Stoneham video. I love it. We strain the noodles. Oops. Mm -hmm. I saw that they like folded it in. Not bad for your second spins. meal. <laughs> we didn't have any of the pepper though. That would have been good in it. I like pepper. One tablespoon of butter. Were we supposed to do that before? No time like the present. Mm. Some parmesan. Mm. All right. Mm, ben? Good. Yeah. Ben, take you can taste a bit of the. No, you can't. You can't taste the vodka, but it's so good. Mmm. Well, there is the second episode 
of Jackie's Clueless Kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed it and like this vlog. And as always, leave me a comment what you'd like to see next on this channel. And I love when you guys give me recipes. So this is gonna be an ongoing thing. Oh, so good. See you guys next week. Have to follow the recipe. We forgot crushed pepper. Does it just go on top or was it in the sauce? Mm.